Behind a hedge of heirloom honeysuckle bushes, Sandy has cultivated a serene garden over 40 years. The honeysuckle were planted by the previous owners. The bushes grow fast, so an arborist comes in and shortens them from time to time, otherwise they take over. Sandy moved to Alaska from Minnesota in 1972 when she married her husband Dave. The front was just grass when they moved in. Alaska has changed so much since then, socially and horticulturally. Sandy can grow a lot more hostas today than in the past, and over time has added more. The hostas have taken their place in her garden. She says, they've gotten so big, I think the climate has really helped those. I just don't have any problems growing hostas anymore. Sandy went through a lot of plants trying things over the years. Her garden has gone through many transitions, but she thinks this is the final form. She and her husband have collected and done all of the rock work. Though many families that moved to Alaska brought plants with them that they cherished, Sandy didn't bring any plants from Minnesota for fear of bringing something in she or the landscape didn't want. Dwarf thyme will fill in between stones that invite visitors into the garden. Ladies' mantle surrounds a mountain ash that was just a stick when Sandy moved in. Her gardens seem to be little woodland gardens within a garden. What made Sandy decide to put a rock garden in the front? She loves rock gardens, but didn't think she had the space to make a big rock garden, so she made this little one. Fellow Master Gardener Madge gave her some nice big rocks and helped expand the garden. Sandy has joined the Rock Garden Society since meeting Madge and looks forward to learning about rock and alpine plants. Sandy orders some of her plants from out of state from Reitman Alpine Plant Nursery, but has also received plants from Madge. Ligularias didn't survive here a few decades ago. Sandy's garden now boasts a few varieties, including the stately purple-leafed Ligularia dentata. From the front porch, Sandy has given herself easy access to the garden space. A friend gave her the heavy mesh screen a clematis grows on. Sandy likes putting plants in containers and putting containers in the garden. This spirea stays in the container in the garden year round. Sandy is a working abstract artist. Her sense of style is seen in the details she likes, color combinations, and even more, leaf pattern combinations. Her daylilies are from Doug Trick. They are about 30 years old. At that time, there were only two daylilies that were reliable, and this was one of them. 
Sandy worked for about five years with Lori Abel, who had a little nursery called In the Garden. She picked up a lot of plants while working there. Though Sandy does order some plants, she also buys locally because she just likes shopping for them. Though Sandy has cultivated her garden over many years, she still loves that it mixes with a wild that she has left at the side of her house on purpose. She doesn't plant a lot of native plants, but likes the oak leaf fern and ground cover dogwood at the side of her porch. We'll move back to the driveway where we can see a pop of color and some more rocks put to good use. There was nothing on the driveway side of the property when she and her husband moved in. When the Muni put in new water and sewer lines, Sandy asked a worker who was moving dirt around if he found any big rocks, would he bring them to her? Many of those rock in her garden came from that project. Then one day, the water line worker showed up with a big boulder and put it on the edge of the property. Another worker had a little bobcat and he came to pick it up and it tipped the cat forward. She told him not to move it and he said, I can do it, and he did. Here is the big boulder today looking like it was always there. The viburnum with this boulder lends itself a Japanese garden look. Sandy's parents were in the military. When she was younger, her family lived in Japan for three years. She thinks there is still influence from that experience. The viburnum is about 10 years old. She prunes it up to keep its shape. We've learned through the Master Gardener Network that this is also a plant Doug Trick brought in another plant that did not survive in Anchorage Gardens 40 years ago. The columbine seeds itself quite a bit. She sometimes tries to remove them, but they have a deep taproot. The garden along the driveway sports some native plants and a special one is Shy Maiden. These have come in on their own. Since her property borders a forest, the plants just come in as they find space. She doesn't know how they move or decide where to go, but they do. And it's okay, she likes them. <laughs> 